my guy. Word. My dude. <laughs> What's going on? What happened, man? Uh, what happened? With, with Obi. Who? The, the chick. What chick? You're stupid, man. What? Nah, man. I was just trying to. I was just trying to call you and just um. I had thought of, but you know what happened? One day, um, one day I was in like. I was in my feelings, like, you know what I'm saying? Not in my feelings, but like, you know how like, you'd be like, hey, yo. I was like, hey, yo, is this is this chick trying to like fucking play me or something? You know what I'm saying? Cause I like, it was something weird. It wasn't nothing. But when I thought about that, all the, um, you know, you know how somebody make you mad? So you start thinking about all the shit that's wrong with them. Like, you know, I, I'm sure people do it to me all the time and shit. Like this motherfucking blah blah blah, right? Wait, wait, was you messing with me? Nah, no. So that was why I was. That's why I was extra. Of course, like if I'm messing with you, I'm gonna give you um, I'm gonna give you the leeway, cause I'm a, I'm a I'm a dumbass nigga. So yeah, if you if I I might do some shit, you do some shit, whatever. But if we ain't got no dealings like that, and I'm just di- trying to straight deal with you, and you like come off to me a little bit weird I'm like hey yo you know what I'm saying that's how I was at the moment so when I started thinking about all the fucked up shit I was like um you know I just be getting in my bag cause I be doing a lot of talking now and shit you know what I'm saying so I just be trying to channel my my old fucking way that I know how niggas used to be talking cause that's another thing I wanna put out there is um you know how on the internet they be like fucking there's no black people in Boston and shit <laughs> Like this, yo, they still be saying that, right? And it's kind of, I was like, you know, like I be telling people, I was like, yo, that's funny, right? As a joke, it's funny, but, and I laugh at it just the same way as we used to be laugh. We laugh at everybody else too, trust me. Mm-hmm. Like I said, nigga, when that fucking, when niggas was coming with them jerry curls and shit and the fucking khaki, <laughs> yo, we was over here in Boston, we was crying, nigga, trust me. We had jokes, right? Right, Bree? We had jokes for days, right? Yeah. So if you are right. so if niggas want to joke on us, I'm cool. But then at the same time, like I said, we was joking. But then fucking Ice Cube, you know what I mean? And Snoop and the niggas came and said shit straight. Like, yeah, it's funny, but don't fuck around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit is this shit is hard. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what I want to do with. Um, <laughs> that's what I want to do with the um with the bean and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo. Because, you know, the Matt, they do the Matt Damon and the Ben Affleck shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the movies. And I was like, yo, them shits is dope. But, like, we never had, like, a black Boston um movie. So people wouldn't know what to expect from a black Boston. You know, every time niggas, you meet niggas and you tell them you're from Boston, they be all, like, fucked up and shit. Because they just don't, un- they don't understand that niggas. I was, I, I was watching some comedian dude, light skin dude. I forget his name, man. He said the same thing. This was like last week. I'm watching it. He's like, yo, I went to Boston. He was like, don't get me wrong. He was like, it was white. And I'm like, he just didn't know where to be. He probably was just only in one spot. That's what I, I said. You know? Yeah, I said this on, um, I got this other show that I do that I be like renting and shit, right? And um, I had said that on there. I was like, you would come to Boston. You would think that there was no black people here. But if you went to like, just like, Boston as the major city because all the black people and the Spanish people are packed on top of each other in Dorchester, Roxbury, Mattapan and then to be honest it's not like we're not allowed to go down there but like after a while you don't want to fight, you don't want to be fighting these niggas, it's like they don't keep you from nowhere but you know how it is nigga, you don't want to smack, you don't, like we we on that we don't want to smack nobody's shit it's not niggas don't keep you they don't they don't run us down here like that's the last thing that happens here is white people running black people (laughs) like they yeah they might call the police and do all of that but as far as anything outside of that like nah bro like well the reason being is you know people who do come here like especially like famous people right Mm -hmm. they come here they only go like i said they go downtown right to certain spots right but those are certain spots that we can get it's you know not, and it's not that we can't go. It's not. It's not those same spots, you know. Right. 
it's not that we can't go. Like, they don't fucking be like, oh, you niggas can't come here. But it's like, when you go, it's like, you know the vibes. And any real nigga, any real nigga don't want to be nowhere where you're not wanted. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why we, and that's why we used to go hard. Um, but yeah, come to Boston and then go to like, you know, when, when the damn bars was open, when we had all the bars, you know what I'm saying? And roll up in one of them bars, you, you'll see some black people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't, you know, he, he ain't, you know, he ain't trying to go there. You know what I mean? So Who? people ain't trying to go to those. You know, just the people coming in. Right. You know what I mean? Like, well, you need, you know what it is? Especially the people I'm talking about. You need a liaison like any other city. If you go to any other city, you need somebody to take you through the spots. And then they take you through the soul food spot. And they take you through, you know what I'm saying? Right. With a black. So that's why you got to be connected. But then how many people is connected with black a black person from Boston? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, it's weird. Yo, I went, to, I went to Pittsburgh to see the Patriots play, right? Yep. And I'm, down, I'm downtown Pittsburgh, right? And it's like a cult of sac bars, you know, right. all their history like that, and shit like that, mm-hmm. so then, some of my, we went out there like 18 deep to see the game, so some of my boys ended up at the bar, like three blocks down, and it was hood, it was nothing around, you said Pittsburgh, you said Pittsburgh, right, right, yep, it was lit, dumb hood, when I left, when I left the bars that I was at, it went over there, right, I was like, Yo. you, you felt right at home, and it was fu- what's funny is you from you from a hood where people don't understand that you're, it's hood, and then you go to somebody else's spot where you don't think it's hood, and you see how hood it is, and then you're like mad happy because you fit right in. Yeah, it was hell. It was hell. But you see, they had their run. You see how they got their run? They're the same thing, but they got their run through um, Wiz Khalifa. Because mm-hmm. Wiz Khalifa's from Pittsburgh. Before you ever, before Wiz yeah. Khalifa, you didn't hear shit about Pittsburgh. It only takes, you know. Nah, just the football team. Yeah, the Steelers. It was just the Steelers, you know what I'm saying? Thing, and that's that. But now, you know, he came out and he brought out that, that, that black aspect to it. You know what I'm saying? He brought the black aspect out, and then he probably brought a couple of his boys out here. So, you know what I mean? I'm trying to do that on my own. Um, my platform just show like cause like you know you're not gonna do the we're not gonna do the movie we're not it's not it's not Southie and it's not Charlestown all the time right but it's but it's but, but it's and South and but it's also but it's also not right but it's also not um Rottweilers and fucking pit bulls and fucking like when you watch like a Boston rap video and shit and niggas got the hammer on them niggas got the hammer and the fucking all that that's there too but there's also just regular life there's like regular life black life out here you know what I'm saying where they're not it's not it's not black light people like it's not light they're not like fake black people that act white it's just regular, normal black people that be watching the games, that be talking shit, that be listening to hip hop. And like I said, we be joking too. The same way as niggas be joking that we don't got black people, we be joking. We be here going crazy. Yo, you know what kills me out here? This is the only thing that kills me out here. Hey, you sit back, right? And it's like, everybody got like, you know, everybody got like their clean. You know? And it's like, if you know who's dope, everybody knows who's dope. But they won't support the other cat that they know who's dope, only because they don't want to see him get ahead. And I know it's not, a, I know it's like that in a lot of other places, but here, it is like, yo, it is the crazy. Fam, I just did a whole, fam, I just did a whole goddamn, like, almost an hour long show. About that same topic where I was trying to give niggas the game because talking about it is not helping. <laughs> Yo, like no matter how much we we going forward or whatever, trust me. Like I just said that same shit. I was like, bro, I seen niggas, I seen niggas share share a post about um the um the little snitch nigga from New York. Mm-hmm. I seen niggas share that 
before they share it, but like be on, but on some, on some like, yo, he's a, yo, look at this rat, but sharing it, right? And I'm like, okay, well, goddamn, maybe you should call me a rat because I want you to share my shit. <laughs> yo, it's great. Like, what's like if, if you're an artist, you know, you don't want to be sharing other people's shit, other artists' shit. I get that because you know you want to promote yourself. I got you know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I just feel like you know, even you know, the people like they said, you see, you get all these views on a post, but you get no likes. On. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you've got 200 views, mad views, and, and nobody's gonna likes. nobody's gonna push the like, Doug. Like, and and I'm like, bro. You know, but I that's I spoke about that and I said, you know what it is though? It's not it's not it's not our fault like that. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, you know, just going back into the whole thing with the crabs in the barrel, um, um, the Willie Lynch, like not to get too deep, but like the Willie Lynch, like you know how we all like pitted against each other. And then if you if you was grown up in the hood, you know that is how it is. It's like it's tight, nigga. It's like it's tight, and if you want to shine, nigga, you gotta kind of go hard. You know what I'm saying? And um, so you get that you get that mentality where it's like all or nothing. Like you're not you're not whatever. And this is the problem: is because no one ever did it for you. You know what I'm saying? So how are you supposed to know how to like show? That's what I said. How are you supposed to know how to show like another Boston artist love if no Boston artist ever showed you love? So you gotta be like the first nigga to do it. That's what I said I started doing. Like, yo, niggas was like, I was like, yo, I'm I'm like a cool nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm really be like rooting for motherfuckers. And I got shit I could bring to the table. And then I'd be like, yo, um, niggas ain't fucking with me. <laughs> yo, the crazy part is alright, for instance, right? The last place I saw you, you know what I'm saying? Yep. At the spot in King. Right? Yep, yep. That whole section of people. Yep. Are they follow each other and look out for each other? Just like absolutely. You get what I'm saying? They do. And I stood there and I see it and I notice it. Yep. And out of one or two of the artists they've had up there, I could say, okay, maybe, or you know what I'm saying. And that's not a knock on nobody, because yo, real rap. What we do is hard. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But. but it's like, yo. We spoke like, about that too at the show, you know, and that's with me there right. watching niggas perform. Like, and like I said, I'm not new to this. Yo, I'm not new to this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm critiquing and I'm watching, it's because I've been up there too. You know what I'm saying? I've been up there. I've been sweating. I've been in practice. You know what I mean? Niggas talk about practice and shit. I've been to practice. You know, Bree, growing up, fucking practice, nigga. Niggas used to have to go to practice. We was never not like the niggas like how now niggas get like a beat and niggas is in the crib and niggas is like yo let's go do the show and niggas just roll up in there and just fucking whatever <laughs> and, yo it's like nigga what nigga we yo you have to come with a whole fucking routine nigga if you try to turn this shit out are you trying to turn this shit out or are you trying to just fucking you know what I'm saying but niggas don't have the um my thing is when I walk in the room I want everybody to know that I'm different you get what I'm saying like. I'm not doing the same music as you. Um, this this is why I have a different name. You get what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. My music is my music. It's my creativity. It's it's my voice. I don't want to put auto tune on it to hide my voice. Right. Or 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 because um my thing is this. Auto tune made everybody an artist. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because mm. if there was no auto tune, everybody wouldn't be even trying. You get what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, word, I could do this now. And mm -hmm. it just covers, it covers a bad, a bad voice. It was Lil little, little Wayne. Like, even rappers. It's Lil Wayne. Like, yo, rappers, rappers have to have a dope voice. Right. You know? Right. You got a voice. Gotta have a voice to rap. Right, it was Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne um set that off once he started um getting his auto tune on because his voice was already a little weird anyways too. So when you add on that damn auto tune, he was it was he birthed that whole he birthed a whole generation of artists, rappers and singers. They all it is what it is. I'm not mad at it. He used to come in and out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like yo. 
you can't distinguish who's who. That's the real. That's the fact on top of facts, Bri. I you ain't, yo, you ain't. It's like it's like out of ten songs, you heard ten songs that are exact. Sound like right. yo, yo, you talking? And like, remember with albums, right? When mm-hmm. albums, you used to want to enjoy the album because an album told a story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that body of work was what the artist was. You know, it's like now it's like you know people's attention spans is like okay, what's yeah. that? You Yo, just went and shot a video. Let's say the dude across the street, he ain't got much money, but he just put fifteen hundred into a video just to show people what he can do. Right. That video lasts a week, and now they on to the next. Yo, a week at be- a week. If you get a week, if you get a week, my nigga, that's like going. That's almost like going diamond right now, nigga. Like if you can last like if you can last two weeks to a month, that's like the new diamond. If you could, if you go a week, I consider that I consider that gold, nigga. I consider you going gold. I don't really focus on like views. I don't really focus on views or or like. Likes and shit like that. I just focus on still just doing the music and putting it out. You know what I mean? Like, right. And, and keep doing, you know, grinding, doing the things that I'm doing. I've been blessed, like you know, with this COVID shit. Yeah. You know, bless everybody and their elders and yeah. everyone on the front line. But like, yo, this shit stopped a lot. Yo, shit. let me and tell you. Did for about the others. That's the whole point of me calling you. You know that was the point. That was the point of me calling you. That was the point of me calling you because you're one, you're one person that I know. You was actively, um, like, at the time when I last seen you, from the last time I seen you to, like, either right before that or right after that, you was, like, really actively out here, really performing. You was at these big shows. You was doing the Foxwoods um, joint, right? With um, yeah. what, what was that show again? Dude, I was with everybody. What was that last, the last couple, though? Because the last couple was all big. They were, it was like some wild yeah. extravaganzas, though. Yeah. Like, so, so I did, I did a few, I did a few of the shows, four or five of them with, you know, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I did the Wayne, I did the Wayne Center. Yeah. With them. And then I did Fox was with them. You know what I'm saying? Atlantic I... City. Like, just a, a bunch of places with them. Then... I came back, I came back, and then I did Foxwoods with SW, SWV, yeah. and um, and Vogue. Yeah. Then, then a couple weeks later, I did Foxwoods with Maya, yeah. Roy, Bobby Valentino, Keith Sweat, you know what I'm saying, and Silk. And then the fucking COVID, nigga. No, no, not yet. And I still did right, still going, right? Right. So then I did, I did Lynn. With Bobby Brown, right? Okay. Then after that, I did genuine one at Mix 360. That was March 28th. Oh wow, damn! You was going deep into the. This was a dog. This is this was my whole year. Right. Um, and and I had um I had Wale and Jeremiah lined up at Fox. Mm-hmm. I was there. Mm-hmm. And after that, at Fox, I had Joe. Avant, uh, this is stuff that was in in the making. Right, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I saw you working. I was like, yo, yo, go ahead, go ahead. So, but then I heard my 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 label was working on a dope ass tour. I don't want to say with who yet mm-hmm. because it's still they're still gonna do it after this is going on. But I was like, what? Well, I was excited. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> now I was just gonna be on the road. Right, but then I got I have a, another reality show in the works that's going to be on BET. You know what I'm saying? That's in the works. No work. It kind of like stifled a lot of shit. Absolutely. But, but I mean, it, it got me to you know right now think about everything else that I need to do behind the scenes as far as you know making sure a lot of music gets. So right now I'm going in. Fixing a lot of music, making sure everything is mixed the right way. Were you going you in know. the studio? Yeah. What making you, sure everything is. You got You got The studios is open. I thought everything was closed down. Man, what's going on? Uh, uh, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of dudes going to the studio. You know that. You see them. 
Nah, I, I thought everybody was working from home. I thought everybody was working from home. Nah, nah. Ooh, that's what. See, I've been in the studio when it's you know just three people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah,
I'm like, yo, I was like, yo, Al, we gotta get a pick, man. You know what I'm saying? So when I first showed up, he was, he was, um, it's so funny how life works. When I first got to Mohegan Sun, he was actually doing a sound check with his son. He had his son there. Not Quincy, but his other son. Right, 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 right. And they were doing the Secret Garden joint that he did with mm, that. Barry White, yeah. That barrage. That's my shit. Like, Damn, that's my fucking joint. Joy, yo, fuck like, yeah. Yo, I just want to get up there and sing. You know, right, see, right. That shit. And then, um, so about a month ago, a month ago, my, my label owner was like, yo, we're going to do Secret Garden over. And I was like, word? He was like, yo. So first we asked Genuine. Mm-hmm. Jump on. Mm-hmm. But Genuine don't want to do a video right now to come out, you know, by himself. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So we asked uh, Willie, Willie from Day 26, you know. Okay. So, on uh, Love and Hip Hop. Yep. L.A. Yep. Um, he's with him. And then we asked Jazz from Drew Hill. Which one is Jazz? The, the big dude. The big one, yep, yep. So then, you know, he asked Albie Shaw. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's going to be me, Albie Shaw. It could change, who knows, by the time we do it now. But, right. you know, me, Albie Shaw, Jazz, and, and that shit would be, you know, I was excited by it. Fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? You know what I mean? Because when you, know, you bring. up the joint with. Little mold, young job, you know. What I, mean? I was like just that. looking, yo. I was just about to ask you that because you know, I you know, I was busy and I was trying to keep up with everything. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't get a chance. So when I um, I had missed that and shit. Because when I was looking through your stuff, I was like, oh, this nigga got a song with um, um, Little Mo. Is the is the same? It's the same song, right? The one with Little Mo and, and Young Jock, or you got no, one? Different. Yeah, you got two different songs. You got a song with Little Mo and you got a song with Young Jock. Yeah. Um, how'd that come about? Well. Crazy. So, Little Mo was once signed to my label um, a few years back. Okay. So, um, when she was signed to my label, they dropped the album for her. So I, I was fortunate to get on that album. Oh, dope. But it was my idea. We did the Secret Lovers Atlantic Star joint over. It was my idea to do that joint. Oh, y'all did that over. Yeah, we did that over. Oh, damn, I need that. I sent it to you. Word. And then um, he was like, yo, I asked Mo if she do it. She, she jumped on it. She she did her shit. Yeah. And then um, I was like, ooh, she was dope. Right. Was, I was like, oh, shit. Because you know she could I mean? sing her ass off, boy. Then, yeah, then I was in Chicago, and I was doing this joint. And um, we were sitting there wondering who should we get to rap on the song. So we went over a few people, and then the engineer, he was signed to Diddy. And um, he did like the whole Day 26 project, worked with like Marvin Wine and, and people like that. Yep. His name is Blaze the Champ, he's out of Chicago. So we're at his studio in Chicago, and he just picks up the phone. He was like, yo, let me call Young Jock, see what he's up to. You know? Mm-hmm. So we called Young Jock, Young Jock was like, yo, send it to me. Well, word. So, Nice and all, nice and organic and shit. Like, it's nice when yeah, shit happens, and, nice and, and easy. And, and that was that was love. Then my man Brian from Day Twenty Six, you know the dude, the cornrows. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I did a joint with him. I did a joint with him. He actually, we I actually went to Connecticut. I went to Hartford. We recorded it. Then we re-recorded it here in Boston. What was who who so who was the song for? The video for that. Is, is, uh-huh. is his like solo song or what? No, nah, no, nah, it's, it's my joint. Oh, for you? It's my joint. Dope. Yeah, it's my joint. Dope. So, you know what I mean? We're going to shoot a video for that, but, you know, songs are in order right now and how we're going to drop them. And I'm not like everybody else where I'm just, you know, I do, I kind of do it kind of the whole school way where I'm not just going to waste material that we spent so much money on. Right. Right. You know I mean? Yeah, because yeah. People's attention span is mad short. You got ADD, right. We're not wasting, you know, ten thousand dollar production. Right. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, you can't. Come from my homie across the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I mean, it is, it's a business at the end of the day. Right. And you know, as much as you know, people want to get their music heard, 
people know me. They heard me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. sit with the stuff I got out now mm-hmm. until we make our plan for what, you know, we're going to drop. You had a last, um, your last single um, you dropped in, like, the summer, right? What was it? Yeah, All, yeah. What is it? Video? Yeah, what's it called? All I Want to Do joint. All I Want to Do, yeah. What's up? What's up yeah. with that? How's it doing? Well, um, you who produced it? What is it? What's up? Cause I gotta go check it out. I didn't even um, hear it yet. Um, my man, I don't know, you, you know Don Hazel? You know him? I Don just Hazel? yeah, I just met um really um like shook his hand like you know what I'm saying last last year and and really like got cool. Oh, you know what I mean? Where yeah. Was it? Where, where? At the um, <laughs> I met him at I met him at the dub. I met him at the dub. Okay. They was doing something down. Oh my! I think oh uh, my home girl, my home girl um Sarita was doing like a night down there, and um okay. you know they came through. They had you know because he always got artists or whatever. And I always see him on the internet. You know I I see they was doing their movies and doing all that stuff. So I did finally get a chance to um meet him. He um he taught me a lot, man. People don't really know a lot about him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. People know him by the movies, but he's a he's a singer. Right, you know? and, um, I I seen him perform. He performed at the dub, and right. and and trust me, I rolled up on him. I rolled up on him because you know I'm old school, and I know when somebody's like doing some shit, and right. I had to roll. I had to roll up on him and be like, "Yo, that shit was hard." <laughs> Yo, he actually produced that track. Oh yeah, with um my man Dow Brain at Underground Studios. Oh Dow, so, yeah, so yeah. They they produced it. It's funny, Malcolm. Malcolm actually sang on a joint with me over there too that they produced. I got him on some backgrounds. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. R. R. I. P. Man. R. I. P. It's fire. I bet. And um. Hey yo, to hey yo on that tip too. Um. Well, I guess I'll say it on this anyways. You know, I don't care. But um, I got I got um, I got his like his whole like um. Like hard drive from the studio. Oh yeah, you told. Me. Oh, I did. I hit you up. Yeah, I was like, yo, yeah, I gotta do. I we gotta um, I gotta do something with yeah. this before it's all it's over. Funny, Cause I got a CD. I got a CD. I gave. Yeah, gave me too. Yeah. With a lot of stuff like that joint Ferris wheel. Yeah. Um, few others that he had on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I be I be listening to that. Yo, he was working on some. He was working on some crap. You know what I'm saying? Because then I I went I went and listened. I went one day. I went into the folder. Um, I went into the folder and just started like you know just playing shit that was in there. And I was like, oh damn, he was working. He was doing a lot of work because he got a lot of songs that I never heard. And they was like some real fly shit. Tell me, he used to tell me, yo, you know, you can really you can do this yourself. You know, you you know you don't need. He's like, yo, I made like ten thousand dollars putting my putting it out like. He was telling me, you know, and the crazy thing is, yo, is, is me and him, like, for some reason, he, he, he get a different phone, or I get a different phone, yeah. and I try to reach him, and it'd be like, yo, I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, I was calling you, and he's like, yo, your boy's been in the hospital. I was like, what? He was like, yeah. And I was like, what happened? Yo, I couldn't believe it. Like, for real. Like, it hit, yo, that shit hit me like a ton. I'm going to tell you right now. So, you know, I live in Cambridge, you know right. what I'm saying? And he was he was in he was in, in Cambridge as well. Yeah. Which is only two minutes from my house. Yeah. So I was like, what the he was like, yo, I've been in here for a minute. He was like, yep. yo, come he was like, come see me. I was like, I'm gonna come through. He was like, yo, get me a slice of pizza. <laughs> a great a great fan of <laughs> And I'm like, yo, you sure you should be eating that? He was like, yo, I don't care. So when I when I went there, I didn't know it was as bad as it was, you know. And he was optimistic, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But um, I was like, "Yo, what's going on?" He sitting there telling me the story, and I'm like, and he pointed at this machine, and he's like, "Yeah, that's my heart." And I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "How the fuck this happened?" You know what I mean? Because yo, when we were kids. You know, the funny thing is, you, you must know this, like, when it would rain, he would puff up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> nah, I never see, I never see, no, nah, I never see no shit like that, because I would have been, yeah, I would have been in his ass and shit. 
down a bit. <laughs> we used to kill him. Because, you know, one day he was walking from school, right? Yeah. The one Joe Wilson. Okay. And, um, it was raining. So we look over at this man, and his whole shit is like... Oh, puffed up and shit? It was like, we're like, yo, what the fuck is going on? He was like, I'm allergic to the rain. Oh, my God. Yo. And I was like, what? Like, his whole shit hides up. That's crazy. Yeah, he had no. Yeah, he might. He must have got over that shit by the time I was like, see, because he never, he never did no shit like that in front of me. Yo, because I would have remembered that. I'd have been like, my nigga, what is going on? Yo, but you know what? God bless him, because that's when, that's when I first started like really coming out singing. Yeah. Like that's when I first started my first group. With when Malcolm. I was 12, with him. Yep. And my man Greg. My man Greg. I don't know if you ever met Greg. Like, he probably told you about Greg. Yeah, he said y'all, y'all three. Yo, Greg was a. Yo, check it out. I used to go to church over there on Seaver Street, the Berea. Okay. The Berea Church on the corner of Humboldt and Seaver. Yep. And I used to sit there and I knew I could sing, but I was like shy. Mm hmm. So I used to see this dude Greg every, every week singing. You know, at church, and I'd be like, "Yo, I want to do this." You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. all the, you know, the girls. Like, Absolutely. Yo. You know what I mean? And yep. he's getting, and I'm like, "Yo, I want to." <laughs> so one day I sat down, I got to talking to him. I don't know where I got the nerve to just be like, "Yo, what's up?" Blah blah blah. I took his number, and then me and Malcolm started talking. I didn't even know Malcolm could sing at the time. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, yo, I be singing, whatever, because we just used to play basketball. Mm-hmm. And I was like, where? I was like, yo, I got this dude, Greg, so we just, boom. And then, you know, John started, you know, his brother started managing us, bringing mm-hmm. us around everywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, Y'all are dope. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> right. But, man, I will tell you this, yo. When I left the hospital that day, Mm-hmm. I was, yo, dog. I don't think I ever felt anything like that in my life. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about because I'm gonna be honest with you, yo. I still, I still ain't got over the shit. Like, I still ain't got over the shit. Like, the shit still be bothering me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but to be so young and yeah, that just to happen. And to be the type of to be the type of nigga that he was, you know what I'm saying? The way he was moving, like, you know, as far as you don't find, like, solid, solid ass people. He was a hustler. Yeah. He did shit straight, too. You yeah. Know what I mean? like, yeah, he, he was, was both ways. Too. He had a vision for a lot of shit. Absolutely. You know? Yo, and, and then I lost my arm. I lost, like, my, my, my still shop and still partner. Like, yo, that nigga used to talk down anything I was trying to do, nigga. And I used to be... <laughs> you know how he is, right? And I used to be like, nigga, blah, 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 blah. And yo, we would be fucking screaming into the middle of the night, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? We'd be on the phone like, yo, he would call me at like, he would call me at like four o'clock in the morning and just start talking crazy cash shit to me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then, And you know what I'm saying? You don't find people that you could get that type of... No. And, and, and the crazy thing is, man, like, so he told me he was leaving there and going to his sister's house. Yeah. The hospital. And repair. Yeah. So I called his phone and it was off. So I had no way to reach him. He had hit me and told me he was getting baptized. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And wanted me to go. But when I called his phone, his phone was off. Right. So I was like, what the hell happened? So I think a couple months went by and I hit up um what's the face? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hit him up on Facebook. And I was like, yo, I'm trying to reach Malcolm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I was like, you got his new number. And she was like, I'm sorry to tell you this on, on Facebook, but that, I'm like, what? Yo, dog, there wasn't a sign on Facebook. There wasn't a post on Facebook. Nothing that I eat. You know what I'm saying? When right. someone passes, you know, you see. Kind of something going on. Nothing. 
Because, yeah. you know, he wasn't on there, number one. But right. It was like, yo. Yeah, fuck. bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Was, yo, that shit hit me in a different way, like, Bro, I have never look at I I've been and I've been living for a long time so I like and I didn't we didn't I didn't have a lot of people that passed away luckily you know when we was growing up you know what I'm saying as far as kids or whatever so I only had like a couple of friends that you know what I'm saying that I lost like that that I lost like that too that that passed away so um and yo when this yo like you said you never felt that bef- like feeling before my nigga, oh, I might have been I might have been crying for like a week straight, nigga. I was like I was like, yo, what the hell is wrong with me, nigga? I was like, yo, do I I, I was like, yo, I really used to like this nigga a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit was like fucked me up. Yo, the way me and him was, mm-hmm. it was like it was like we would connect. Then three years ago by right? Mm-hmm. We connect again. You know what I'm saying? Then a year will go by and we'll connect. But then it got to the point where we were constantly connected. You know, as grown men now. Right. You feel me? Right. Like, we would constantly we meet in for lunch. Or, you know, we made it a point to get up. Yeah. You know? And he was telling me about another, my fr- another one of my friends that was like my best friend at the time back then. Who became a cop. And I, I bumped into my best friend. And I was like, yo, what up, yo? I, I let him know what I was what I was doing, you know what I mean? We used to be in the gutter, you know right. what I mean? So I let them know what I was doing, like, yo, I'm, I'm doing everything I said I was doing, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, we should be a lot. You'll be like, yo, but I'm busy, you know that. So I was talking to Malcolm about it. He was like, yo, man, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, if, if he's like, yo, sometimes some people ain't meant to, you know, but it was weird because, dude, I got a Jordan fetish because of this dude. Right. You know what I mean? Like, when my father, my father and stepmother at the time didn't want to get me Jordans, this nigga would always show up with them. I'd be pissed. Yep. Now I just buy everything I want, nigga. Cause you, cause of this shit, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Now you don't, yeah, you know yeah, you don't want to see how many goddamn jackets I have and shit cause a, uh, cause a nigga didn't have a jacket, cause a nigga didn't have a jacket one winter. Now I got fucking, I got more, I'm a fucking addict and shit. <laughs> it, was, it was just crazy, you know. So I, I, he taught me, he taught me how to like on dogs. He taught me how to like move on from people. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Move on from people who not not necessarily if they're bad for your spirit, but just know the signs. Yeah. Of how to move? You know what I mean? Because I, you know. I got an attitude problem sometimes, but I got a big heart too. Right. So my attitude comes after you fuck with my big heart. Right. Then I get emotional and then I get mad. Right, you right, know what right. I mean? So he was just like, yo. But to me, like, this nigga was my best friend, nigga, like, every single day. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, damn. And then when he saw me, I felt like he was happy to see me. Yep, yep. But then I let him know, I was like, yo, I bumped into this chick, she wanted me to give you a number. Oh, he wanted to talk to me then, though. Right. Nah, he, it, like, yeah. I, I he was like that, though, because he kind of say he did the same thing for me, too. Like, it was just always a lot of straight talk. You know what I'm saying? And you can't get a lot of people that's going to give it to you straight for some reason, right. which is weird, because it's like, damn, nigga, y'all, we be around each other all the time. Anybody should be able to tell anybody anything. And then you don't hear, you don't hear nothing from nobody. So then when you hear it from a nigga, you at first you'd be a little bit like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know the crazy part is you already know. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what's my favorite? You know what's my favorite shit about uh, Malcolm? That put me, he put me in the game. He really, really put me in the game, right? Cause I been was rocking with him. I been was doing. We yeah, been he was with. Yeah, yep. So we right? been, we been kicking it, right? So somehow, some way, I'm like, yo, I want to take it to another level and shit. Oh, cause now he's about to put out his. He's putting out his album. He's about to start moving around and shit. And I'm like, I, right. I'm like, yo, Malcolm, um, and I, yo, I, I've been kicking it with the nigga for like three years now this is like three four years straight now already i've been kicking it with you right so in the mix of all of that i'm like yo um 
Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I think I'm about like really try to get right, man. I'm um, I'm try to manage you and shit, right? That nigga was like, that nigga was like, nigga, what? <laughs> right? I was like, yeah, I could I could manage you and shit, right? That nigga was like, my nigga. He was like. You can't manage me and shit. And I was like, what you mean? He was like, nigga. He was like, you know what management is about? It's about like, you know, connections and shit like that or whatever. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I was like, yeah, like, I was like, nigga, I, I got connections and shit. I could, I could, I could make something happen. He was like, nah. He was like, yo. He was like, listen, my nigga. He was like, yo. I know. He was like, yo. I know more people than you, nigga. How you, <laughs> yo. When he said, yo, I was so, I was so bad at this nigga. Somebody the truth about what they can't do. Yeah. It's the hardest thing. Yeah. And a lot of people they don't understand. Like, look, I'm at a place right now, because I get it. Yep. I'm at a place right now where my label owner will not let homie across the street. Be Just my manage man. you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have some connections, you gotta be like, you know what I mean? I've had motherfuckers wanna be that kid. Cell phone right, come on, dog. That's not gonna, yeah, that's not gonna work. You right? Yeah, it's not not to be laughing, but that shit is not right. It's not gonna work. Dudes who gone to jail for child support issues. You trying to manage me? You can't, you you can't man, yeah, you can't manage me, nigga. You can't manage me. Yeah, that real rap. But like you said. About knowing the right people yeah. and being able to not necessarily when it comes down to money, yep. but being able to use your charisma and, and connections, and, yeah. And your connections that you have to benefit your art. So in my mind, I was like, I know I got the charisma. I was like, I know I could talk my way up into some shit. You know what I'm saying? But to even do that, you gotta have the fresh little Let like connections too. Yep. Let me ask you. Enough about the music business at that time. Hell no. Nah. Have you re- even read, read the books? You, you see what I'm saying? Yo, he hit me with all that. He was like, nigga, go read a book. <laughs> he was like, yo. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I was working with this team, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I think 2011. Dope team. Mm-hmm. Dope team. Dope team. We had a lot of dope artists, bro. Right? Yep. So you had dudes up in the office talking about. Yeah, I'm the A&R. I'm the A&R for the... Nigga said I'm the A&R. And I'm like, yo, do you know what an A&R is? <laughs> right? And I'm laughing. So I came in the next day with a book. Right? And I handed it to him. I was like, read. Read this book. Read this book, yo. Yo, my nigga, he rolls with me right down to this day. Word. He's not my manager. Yep. But there's a place for him. Right. On my squad. And he's at everything. Dope. Feel me? Dope. He's my, my wingman slash, like, yo, can, can we get a piece? He's that guy. Can you get a picture? Can, yo, hey, hey, Maya. Hey, Maya. Yeah, yo, my, yeah, my know, guy. Yeah, the liaison. Yeah, he's, he's, um. Just that guy. Yeah, he's La, La Ling. You need a La right. Ling and shit. Right. So when you see me, when it comes to the music and I'm doing business, not the dude you saw me with, he wasn't there to act it. Right. But that dude, the lawyer, he, because he's homegirl's lawyer. Who? Uh, what's the face that do the event? Oh, um, Kateria. 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 Yeah. You know? Um, then, you know, she wanted to interview me and shit like that. And I was like, she was like, you know, she hit me, told me her interviews were 250 whatever. Like, number one, I'm not paying somebody to interview. You know what I mean? Just like I wouldn't pay to perform. Right. I'm not paying no one to perform. You see the stuff I'm doing? I'm not paying to do that. You get what I'm saying? Like, you gotta appreciate me enough to pay me to perform instead of... Because once you start doing shit like that, mm-hmm. you stay there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and especially, well, the point is to build yourself up Build your resume up to where niggas just don't even question it. You know right. what I'm saying? And but you've done that. You've done that. Here, regardless of what you do, they see it. But 
but they still try to find a way to be like, you know, because you're not their best friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're afraid to show you love. Well, you know what I think? Um, and this is not about, um, not saying this about um, Kateria, because that's actually... You know, I met her there oh, too, she's and she's like girl. really, yeah, she really is yeah. dope, and her show and all of that. Like, I really like how she is. I like how she is as a person. So that, like, take her out of it. Um, the way they be moving with those type of movements, it makes me feel like they are really not. They really them DJs up or them people that work for that radio station are like, um, it must be torture working up in there, dog. Like, they must not be, like, yo, they must be getting their fucking lunches stolen out the refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? Because they be seeming like they always got to do some type of, they always on some type of hustle to get something like, to get like some bread in their pocket. And it and it's weird because in my mind, you would think that they're in like, if you're in like a market space, you always think about these, these personalities as people that are getting paid like some type of salary. As a DJ or as a whatever, but then every time you turn around, these niggas, I'll be like, "Yo, what's up?" And nigga would be like, "Yo, that's um, that's five dollars." And I'm like, "My nigga, I just all I said was, what's up?'" I was just. <laughs> I was Yo, just... I think we're the only place on earth who don't where the radio station takes money from the DJ. Mm. Like they giving us Sunday night at ten o'clock. Is not support for everybody's sleeping at ten o'clock Fib. on a Sunday night. Fib. You know what I mean? Like niggas would think I niggas would think I set you up for this video, right? They would think that you just watched my video and now um, I got you on here talking. But you're saying everything that I just said, bro. I'm not, and, and the thing is this: I'm not. I'm never afraid to say. It. But you know Nick, and like, and I'm talking about. So much talent, there's so much talent here in Boston. Talk. Like, Talk know, about it. Look, I know the I know the best ones. Yep. I know the okay ones. Yep. And I know the ones that you know. Okay, they're trying, but not yeah. so good. Me too. But it's like yo. And nobody, with, all those people that you just said, it don't matter what tier you talk about, right? You could go all the way up to goddamn my nigga. You won't even hear goddamn Bobby Brown on the radio, nigga. If it was up to them, nigga, like that's how deep. This Boston well, radio took, shit go, nigga. Wait, but how long it took for 977 to come out and now play that stuff? Yo, but like, look at, you Why got, you. the station showing love even to our legend? Right, like, yeah, like when a. When they come in, they want to interview them on the radio. Right. Or, or do this or do that. And I'm not knocking them, I know they're scripted and they got to do what they're told to do. Yeah. But they got to be, they got to create. Uh, avenue where they should at least say, you know what? This Friday during the traffic hour. Yeah, we gonna do this. Third Friday. Yep. Hey, give me something. Try something. And then even if gonna play ten local artists. Yep, and if if Boston's the market, like damn, why don't y'all do a yearly um, y'all don't have like a Ed O G day or some somebody who charted, and then like just build around that, and then have the younger artists come in and have this nigga have this nigga be the the headliner or something, and have the the young niggas do a show like they won't even put together nothing for niggas and um. Or for instance, or for instance, the dudes who made it from here, right? Why don't they come out here? And, and get back and try to do something. Because they don't want to get, they don't want it, they don't want it. on the block and do it, instead of opening Wahlberg's and all those other spots, yeah. right? Why yep. not, why not throw something or, or put a local artist up? Nobody's done that. Right. You know, well, you know what? Try. I could say, look at, look at, I could say try. this. I could say this. When they was opening the Wahlberg's, um, um, I seen I seen Marky Marky Mark I mean, uh, Mark Wahlberg take um um the kid token. Uh, you know the white kid token yeah, yeah, that rap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like when he was first coming out, I seen Mark grab him and kind of gave him that extra um. You know how a nigga take you on like a quick little. Yeah, that's like, so that yeah, it know. it did happen, even though it's it's you know it's not what we talk. Yeah, you know we. I, yeah, yeah, I ain't gotta say what it is. I mean, but it it kind of happened, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, um, but it didn't happen to where the person got a light 
Right. right. But look at this artist like him. Like, look at name this artist, right? He's definitely an artist that you're not going to see him around here because once they crack, once, like, what you was doing with the live shows and shit, when the shows was in effect, once you get on that circuit and you crack something, you, you get, like, a single or you get some type of whatever, uh -huh. if you get on that sh circuit and show and prove, you really don't even got to drop no more fucking music because niggas will fuck what you like that on that on that circuit. Because now all you got to do so now we have artists here that be touring nationally like niggas be touring nationally like they don't be here they be touring nationally then niggas will come home and have a show here and like sell it out like um say like um cousin stiz right mm -hmm. just he he went out he toured whatever when he came back to house of blues he sold it out no other boston artist had ever even did that within the past you know what i'm saying decade or whatever Nigga, you you still ain't heard this nigga's music on the radio. That's what I'm saying. So then I be looking at niggas in the street and niggas who's bubbling and trying to whatever, and I be hearing the complaints and I be like, my nigga, my nigga, they don't even play, they don't even play BBD, nigga. <laughs> they don't play BBD, dog. And them niggas yeah, made poison. When they come there. Yeah, but they'll go crazy, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's go ahead. But that's the only time they'll play this. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Only when there's a special event. But why not? Why not? Why not have that? Like, dude. It's a weird ass market. That it, like, 977 is the only one that's playing, you know, the real good music. Yeah, that good. Uh, yeah. But they only broadcast so far. Right. Right. You know I mean? like, right. Yeah, you get out to, um, you start going on, you on 93. You know what I'm saying? You get a little close to like, um, you get a little past Somerville and shit, to start getting choppy and shit. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. And also, like, where is it? My point, back to my point. Where is it that you can get the scene for the minorities without us having to do it on our own and fight for the, you know, we get the whack, wackiest niggas. Right. You know? Right. Like, and I, I, I get why. Get what I'm saying? Well, I, no, I why? used to get why. why. I used to get why. Right, right. It's a why? different world than it's what it was before. Now. Stop. Like, yeah, using exactly. them same old tactics. They're going, from, they're going from what was. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. They're going from what was. They're not going for, okay, if, if, if this can be done right, let them do it. Absolutely. You know I mean? Yeah, they're trying to have you have a hip hop night and then trying to make niggas take their hats off at the door and shit. I'm like, my nigga, do you understand how this shit works? With the hat goes with the shirt, what goes with the sneakers, my nigga. Like, if you don't understand that shit, it's culture. Yeah, it's culture. Dudes that don't want to take their hats off. Right. Because of whatever. Um. <laughs> but nah, you're right. It's co it's culture. You know what I'm saying? We was raised we was raised like, you know what I'm saying, like whatever, like on some it's not it's not a slight towards you or nothing. It's not disrespect. It's not nothing. It's just it's it's culture. It's culture. Yeah, it's just, it's like a sign when I there's a lot of dudes out here, man, that I wanna see win. Yeah. Like there's a lot of dudes that I know their story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even know that but they grind it so hard. Yeah. And they put they put so much in. Yeah. Like I, I, I think those are the dudes that deserve it in some kind of way. Name name I mean? name a couple for me. Um you know, We we gotta start the love train. You know what I'm saying? We gotta start the love train, man. Name a couple for me. What's yeah, who? Yeah. Like like, you know, my dude Ray Royale, he's been you know, he's been grinding, grinding, grinding. I've been seeing his name for years. Huh? I've been seeing his name for years And I really wasn't You know what I'm saying Because I remember when I was dealing with Malcolm I seen dude doing some shows and stuff And I was trying to You know Some type of collab or whatever But um Yeah I just um I had um I grabbed one of his songs I did like an R&B um Mix Because I was just You know I'm trying to support Boston artists So I did a rap You know I got the mixes And I, I do strictly Boston mixes To kind of like it's like a it's like a, a kind of fuck you to the DJs. Like because they be acting like, oh, if you put on a Boston song, that niggas is just gonna clear the dance floor and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. And I'm like, nah nigga, you a DJ, like mix that shit in. Mix it and bounce it, flip it, give it a give it an air horn. 
You know, give it, give it a gunshot like you do somebody else's shit, and then and then play it again the next night, nigga. And then you'll see, you'll get a reaction. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Just then, like it's know, called breaking a record. You got people, you got people like you know, there's dudes like you know that that been grinding. I don't know, like some of them, I don't know if they want it anymore because they're not out here like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. but you know, they turn. You know they turned into church, started singing in the church. Right, right, right. You know, like dudes like Deshaun King. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Then you got, you know, JP the rap singer who's been grinding his whole life. Right. You know, um you know my boy Genius who's been grinding. I used to do like Coca Cola tours with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um there's, there's a few more like the dude D Quest, he be he yep. on his on his stuff. My nigga, you, you know, name you naming like, them all. You naming them all. Yeah. And, and you know my man Louis Bello who be grinding, yep. him and his who be grinding like, yep. but like you know this this like you got Matia Larocque who's been grinding. Like these are people that didn't just wake up and want to be a rapper right. or a singer. These are people who put in that work, lived it and put it in. Yeah, you know what I mean, like Latia Larocque. They just wake up like yo. Yo, that's why I don't be giving um a lot of people um certain um, respect because I be like, yo, my nigga, like I know y'all are ill, but I was like, yo, there was some people that came before y'all that that was like, that was like whatever. Cause I'm in my scene um, I seen Latia Larocque perform one day in the middle. It was in, it was in the Middle East upstairs, right? Like the small spot, the Middle East upstairs. Mm-hmm. But nigga, you know how like you you know how like when somebody got it and shit. We was just talking about that, like you know when somebody got it or not, nigga. She was in it. She yo, she was in there fucking spitting the gospel, nigga. I was like, oh shit, like you know, like you know, she was spitting and singing. Yeah, and then and then you and then you don't see her, and then you don't see her. You know what I'm saying? You don't see you don't see her because the opportunities wind up um, for all these really talented people. The opportunities was never really there. Like we was, I was even talking about the thing. Um, even when like um Ed OG came out with his um song, the city was different. There was no place to fucking perform. They wasn't gonna let no nigga. They, the nigga didn't even get to perform. The nigga had the number one song in the country and never got, and never got to perform. Never got to perform in his own city. That's crazy. Do you imagine that? 